John, it's the morning after the night before deadline day. Yeah. Did you get a good night's sleep and then how happy were you with, uh, with our business yesterday? Don't yeah, really good night's sleep. Um, I got a phone call off an agent at um, 10 to 12 to say thank you. I thought, okay, thanks, but you could have called me tomorrow to say thank you. But yeah, it was um, the, the amount of time I spent just speaking, walking around um, on my phone and then recharging it and coming back and recharging it, getting cut off and losing the signal. Um, yeah, comedy of errors yesterday regarding the phone, but it was really good, uh, productive for us, for the, for the players we brought in. And um, I think myself, um, the board and the chairman were, um, worked really hard and, uh, until I think it was one minute to 11 when, when Julian's got done. So um, yeah, really good. Yeah, really pleased with the lads. It's, it's the lads that we've gone for before in previous windows, but um, wasn't quite right. and uh, Weren't allowed to let them out, but now it's great that we've, we've got the four lads that we have in. So. Could you just tell us a little bit about Julian, Jack and Christian and a little bit about Justin um, as well? Yeah, defensively, obviously, we've, we've got Jack from, from West Brom. Um, we've got a real good relationship. I sat with the West Brom staff with, um, and watched their game against Villa last Monday. I thought he was one real solid one within a performance. Um, went to St George's and watched him against Ipswich on the Thursday night as well, just to reinforce that. Seen him in previous games and then I watched quite a few of his clips and two of his games when he played for Forest Green. Darren Moore speaks really highly of him. Um, I can see that as well. And, um, his attitude for me is probably the most important thing and um, that's one reason why we brought him into the mix and uh, I think he's, he's a local lad, he's solid hull based so that ties into it as well and he'll come, in, he'll come and fight his way and see if he can get into, into, into this team. He's got, he's got a couple to fight against now, he's got Corey obviously and on the right side and now he's also got Christian Bielik who we brought in from Arsenal who is a player I really like and you know, so I get a little smile on my face when I think because he's just somebody who just loves football and, uh, from his days back in Poland when, when, they, when they signed him for a substantial fee. He's come in and Arsenal thinks really highly of him. He's played him in his pre-season games and um, the three or a four. And they, got, they think he'll go on and be an Arsenal player and I agree with that. I thought at Birmingham he got stronger each game he played. I remember watching a game and I thought he was really dominant for a, for a young man. Um, he's somebody who's not afraid to get on the ball. Um, and tactically, yeah, we'll, we'll try and improve him and, and they, his development is important and they trust us with him, which, which is really good for, for Walsall Football Club. And, um, and Julian as well, how do you see him? Uh, yeah, so we become more offensive with, with Justin Shabu and uh, that's great for him to come in. I thought he was unlucky the other night, I thought he did really well in the second half, had a couple of half chances to get himself off the mark. And um, Julian's one who's um, so highly rated right from his early days um, back in Belgium and he's full international up to 21 level. Um, he's one who we've got really high hopes for and it's great to have him on board and I think Stoke have ooed and hard the last couple of winners whether they keep him with the first team or let him out I think it's important that he comes out and plays games he needs to get some match minutes under his belt he's still 20 and he's, he's got Premier League minutes under his belt as well but we need to get him back and um, see if we can work him really hard and I think he could be, a, he could be anything he wants to be Julian um, and it'd be, it'd be nice to sit down and have a, have a cup of tea with him today for half an hour and just get, just get to know the workings of Julian Engoy and see if we can help him and give him that platform to really push himself and put himself in the, in the eyes of Colin Lambert now and get back into their first team for next year. It's amazing how it works in deadline day, isn't it? These are players, you mentioned there, you watched Christian last season in a game for Birmingham. These are players you've been monitoring for, for a long while and then on deadline day it all sort of comes to fruition. It's funny how it works sometimes, isn't it? Yeah, it, it, the, what for me is, because I think it's nearly probably over 70% happen on the last two or three days and it works that way because everybody holds on to them. Some, some clubs don't let players out, we've had that. Some players don't want to go out, and I know Sam spoke about that. Some players don't want to go and play for some reason, I have no idea, out of their comfort zone or um, they're not used to adversity which is why sometimes we want even with our young players now to go out on loan it, it's part of the process and uh, of course when you get to league level uh, we're doing it with livelihoods at stake so these players have to be ready for it regardless of age they've got a maturity the players we brought in uh, they can handle the so-called pressure like my young players can and that's part of it um, and it, it, I think it'll be an exciting time and um, they'll come into a real good vibrant group and we're, we're looking forward to picking up some points over the coming weeks and months. So well, with that, focus now shifts to an important game on Saturday at home to MK Dons. It'll be good to be back home for some of the new signings. Um, they'll be in and around the squad presumably, are they all uh, fit and ready to go coming in for Saturday? Yeah, Christian's, Christian's coming under the premises, he's still got a slight niggle so um, I'm going to allow him to finish his rehab. Uh, down at Arsenal for a couple of days. He'll be back with us probably Tuesday next week is when we're going to meet up. 
Um, it's a little bit risky to risk it for this weekend, but we still understood that and I've been monitoring it for the last three or four weeks. He, he had a dislocated shoulder um, just after pre-season. Um, played four or five games and then he's had a slight niggle which uh, it'll be fine no issues but I'm not going to risk him this weekend the other three uh, will be available and around the mix and it's up to them to impress me today and tomorrow see if they can get either a starting position or try and get themselves onto the bench and the rest of the squad as well how the fitness wise how's everyone looking for him we're really good um, fully fit um, no issues at the moment so nice a nice quiet we can turn the light off in the in the treatment room today um, get them out on the pitch where they belong and see if we can just um, work hard to try and get ourselves up the table. Not giving Rev the day off then? No, Rev doesn't need the day off, we're okay. Rev will come in working hard and probably join in with them in the gym.